Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Strayers in the Sky, second chapter. I am the Iron Genius, but you may call me Eric, and we left off in Grimsel Fortress. We just got done with this super awesome dark room, yeah, um, let me tell you about it. So, there's probably dialogue coming up soon. Or an epic attack, we are doing a counter-terrorism training and trying to save Kurt in the process. Also, trying not to get ourselves killed. I could really go, go for a sleep roll, though, because... Oh, why did I... 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 I cannot say anything in my defense there. I'm sorry. That was just plain bad. Plain old bad. Oh, down there. Oh, I'm gonna... Nah, that's not gonna be happening. He will take too much damage over the course of this fight if I do that. No bedroll, huh? Why are these stupid enemies in every single one of those rooms? Just for you to train up on? They won't get in your way. Ooh. Found ID unit. What's this? Hmm, seems like some kind of device. Also looks kind of like an orbman switch. Well, probably good to take it with us, right? This place is a training facility, so it might be used to open trap areas or something. Yeah, good point. Even just getting here, there's been a lot of gates, pitch black rooms and stuff. So, well, they're always uh, saying to be prepared, right? Anyway, let's get going. Yeah. Gained a usable event item. During the game, these event items can be directly used to proceed at times. To utilize usable event items, open the items tab in the camp menu and directly select the item you wish to use. This is the 56th chest you've opened. Congrats. Nah, just kidding. I'm not even counting. Activated ID unit, but there was no notable response. It don't look like it can be used here. Doesn't look like it can be used here. Turn on the power. Or off. No notable response. Estelle, I don't think this is the right place. Let's just keep going, huh? There's an enemy, maybe I can use it on him. Or there's a couple of saxes or something. I'm not fighting all of these. Why why are they why are they there? Mm, this doesn't seem odd. The door appears to have a lock mechanism, but there's no obvious lever. Hey, analyst, you think this device might be... Yeah, looks like it's the machine to control the door's lock. If we use it, the door should open. But how do you use the darn thing? I don't see a lever or anything. Maybe there's something to open it somewhere. Why don't we go back and... <gasps> hey, that's right. You think of something? Remember that device we picked up? Near the stairs? Oh, that weird piece of junk? <sighs> yep, maybe we should try it out. Come on, what do you say? Hmm, well, I don't mind trying, but I don't know if it'd be that easy. Do you like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Activated ID unit. Oh, it worked! Where'd that shadow come from? Ah, it really opened. Hey, <laughs> justice prevails. Wasn't it cuteness? All right, let's keep our eyes peeled and carry on. Yeah. The shadow mania starts again. This is nice. Beautiful, exactly what I wanted to see. Means there's a boss coming up. Ha, hey, finally made your way here, did ya, you, you freaking brats? You! 
So you finally show your face. Actually, he doesn't. He's wearing a mask. Okay. Welcome to the newest outpost of the Jaegers in the Lemon State, kidlets. Did you have fun with all those great traps we left for you? Yeah, barrel of laughs. Thanks for that. More to the point, I'm guessing you're keeping Kurt and Phyllis behind that door, right? How about you let them go before I, I tr pry off that mask and paint your face with my sword? Ha! 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 Chirp all you want, little chicks! You've come so far not even realizing this would be your grave. How sad! How very like a bracer. Isn't that our like line? I have no idea what you guys are trying to accomplish here, but you really backed yourselves into a corner. With two people and they left you alone out here? Man, you are in a shit situation right now. The heck do you... Uh, yeah, guild reinforcements are gonna be here soon. Once they get here, you're out of luck. Try again, girlies, we smashed your phone. Just how did you make contact with any reinforcements without that? Uh, well... Oh crap, I need to pull out a really good bluff. Don't need to contact, trainees coming. These suck, smoke signals here, right? Don't need to contact. I would have said something like, uh, yeah, we had our mechanic still there. You didn't take him out or take him hostage, so he just rebuilt the thing. But nope, that's not, okay, fine, trainees coming. Several new trainees are going to be arriving today. With them on our side, you don't stand a chance. Um, Estelle. Oh, really? That's good to hear. Well then, we'll just set a little ambush at the canyon entrance. Long as they aren't ready for us, we can slaughter them all nice and quick-like. Ah, uh, that didn't even work as a bluff. Either way, you brats are an eyesore. The best use for your skins will be as cleaning racks for our new base. Die! Alright, bring it on, you monster. We won't lose for the guild and for the trainees! And for the great music. How do you like Dark Matter? Oh, oh, 8,000, huh? How? Oh. The serious combatant who suddenly ap uh, appeared executes ranged attacks with a spear. How's that work? He throws it? Do, do. Come on, Dark Matter. You've got to be good against one enemy. Oh, that is shit damage. It's just a waste of EP. Throwing my EP against a rock-solid wall. That's stupid. Summer Shower. Ha! Oucheroni Pizza. Um, let's tear her up and then I'm gonna use Estelle Supra. Supra. Supra, whatever. Against the one guy that's standing there. Come on, do more than 1000 damage, please. Words Fitzel. Try to keep up with this. Speed up, strength up. Eins, zwei, drei. That is the wrong language, sir. That is the German language. I don't know what game you're playing, but it's not in English right now. Get it? Because... I know I have to work on my humor. I know. Don't need to tell me. He's not exactly doing what I would call ranged attacks. Eins, zwei, drei! It's probably the exactly the, the tone of voice he would have there. I'm so glad it, that arts reach over the entire screen. That is something that makes me really makes me be really glad. Uh, 
That is actually something I did not want to see. Him going that direction. That's fine. Ugh, what are you doing? I want to focus on the game. I don't know what's doing that sometimes. But now that it's happened again, I know at least how to handle it. Okay. Um, yeah. Um... That seems actually like a good idea right now. Ah, she jumps back there. Fine. Can't quite reach. Then I'm just gonna move normally. Charged in... Oh, he jumped back. That's good. It means I can now execute a... Chain attack against... Oh. Okay. So it still has to be in that range. Fine, then I'm just gonna use a normal attack here. Then we have solved the problem. Craft chain up with her, and he is in both of their ranges. Sorry, dude. Roger Dodger. Good damage there. Next time I'm actually gonna do the same thing again. Then we can pull off a big attack with... Her. Which is an AoE, yes, but it still does good damage. Next we should probably heal us still. All things considered. Now I think doing a chain attacks over and over and over is much better than doing um, the actual S breaks using your entire bar. The chain attacks are new in this um, in this game, and they are pretty potent actually. I have to say, I'm impressed. Eins, zwei, drei. Come on, don't pack out your manly German voice. I should have probably, now that he's talking, now that he's actually talking German, I should probably give him a German accent. They're even called the Jägers. Hmm. Chain of, a changer of plans, from, from now on all the Jägers are German. And maybe Kevin is gonna get a different voice. Not every character in this game can have a German accent. Come on, move in that direction. Really? You're gonna get that back. You're gonna have to go through some hardship right here. Lucky ducky. Okay, uh, that actually only got her 20. She cannot... Oh, she can! Chain up with her and that kills him, I believe. Hmm. Huh. He kind of barely stayed alive. Okay, he didn't... Okay. So, dude, uh, I'm sorry, but this is gonna have to be it. I've heard your music for long enough. Mm. Whoa, how we we won! But the way he fights... Yeah, you notice too, Estelle. It's like... He's German. Hey, hey, you guys sure are good at being tricked. Oh. Haha, <laughs> man, you guys were great. What a beatdown. Oh, crap. More enemies? Haha, <laughs> no, no, no. Come on, I'm not even changing my voice anymore. Don't tell me you can't figure it out. That's probably a She-Ra, huh? No, no way. 
Karna? Who's Karna? Bingo! Ah, you're Karna. Endless, still, it's really been a while, hasn't it? Uh, a while, yeah. But what are you doing in a Jaeger suit? Wait, that would mean that the guy over there is... Grant? Hole in one. Hey, you two, great work. Great work, wait. Do you mean this was all? And at last, comprehension draw dawns. Estelle, endless excellent work on your final training course. Final training? So, everything since last night's attack has been a performance? Hmm, this is a long-standing local tradition. The idea of, is to put trainees in a life-threatening situation in order to see how well they utilize their newly learned skills. Are you freaking kidding me? When Kurt told us your finals were coming up, he rode our buds out here from Liberal to help you out. Heh <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Fun? Ow! Oh, you guys are all the worst! Seriously, we really thought it was hitting the fan. We were out of the, our minds with worry. Well, that was part of the plan, in fact. And just so you're aware, real Jaegers would not have been half as gentle. Uh... Well... I know it's hard for you two to imagine since the Jaegers are barred from o operating in Liberal, but across the rest of the continent, Bracers and Jaegers are at each other's throats almost constantly. So most Bracers have to be prepared to fight in real life threatening situations at any moment. We want to make sure liberal, uh, liberal, Liberalian newbies get a chance to experience that. I know it seems rough, but we're not being mean just for cruelty's sake. Ugh, that's no fear. How am I supposed to go on a good complaining, Jack, after he hearing something like that? Yeah, no fear. Well, looks like you. Well, looks like you're finally done beating the stuff uh, st uh, stuff out of one another. Oh no, that's Phyllis, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, Phyllis. Phyllis was in on this conspiracy too. Ah, can't trust any of you. Now, now, conspiracy is a bit much. They said they needed me for your test, so I worked hard to remember my lines. Hmm, I made a perfect tragic lodge keeper heroine, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, we were totally fooled last night. Ha <laughs> ha, excellent work, you two. And here's the last little liar. You were all in on it. So, I'm guessing the telephone. Yeah, that was an old piece of junk I had lying around. Yeah, that was an old piece of junk I had lying around. I kept the real phone somewhere safe. I've already remounted it, so no worries. Actually, I was supposed to be a hostage myself and not show up today, but, well, I really wanted to see you use the new Orbans. Man, you guys seriously covered every angle. I guess it's our fault for getting tricked, huh? As much as I hate to admit it, yeah. If you think about it rationally, a lot of stuff didn't make any sense. It just shows how far we have to go, I guess. Mm, don't be too, don't be too hard on yourselves. As Karna and Grant said, the point of this exercise was to give you a life-threatening experience to work out through with your skills. In that sense, the exercise has been a runaway success. Now then, Analyst El Elfied, Elfiad? Uh, yes? Estelle Bright? Yes, sir! As at this moment, you have completed the local training program. You have learned a great deal over the past month. So, then... Tomorrow we're... Two tickets on the next flight to Liberal have already been arranged for you. Nothing more will happen tonight, I promise, so rest easy. Terrific! Well then, tonight we congratulate our new graduates and stuff them properly at a nice big farewell party! Meanwhile in Liberal Kingdom, location unknown.
Oh, what a lovely little hideaway. The professor's taste remains excellent as always. You're late, Campanella. Why, Mr. Be Mr. Blade Lord, hello. It's been so very long. The last six months were so dreadfully dreary without you. Hmm, I doubt you mean that. I understand you handled the attacks on those Bracer guilds in Erebonia. You must have enjoyed playing with Cassius Bright. Oh, you heard about that already. There goes half my fun. But oh yes, the man was incredible. There's no way he could have known about me, and yet he always managed to pull, p put together a proper counter to everything I did. As a result, I broke one of our Jaeger corps, I'm afraid. You... you broke Jester, huh? I did train them to some degree, but normal men do have, do have their limits. I suppose throwing them up against the Divine Blade was too much to ask of such men. But hey, I managed to keep him tied up until your little sabotage mission was completed, so all's well that ends well. Oh wait, I'm sorry, you were looking forward to having fun with him yourself, weren't you? Hmm, a little. But the blade has been bound by the chains of duty. There's no longer any hope of stopping us through official means. He is no longer a threat. Hehe, <laughs> looks like the professor's the professor's plan succeeded brilliantly. The other members are already in liberal then? Yes, all uh, we all conferred for the first time yesterday. Blue Blanc has apparently bl been here for a while, however. The Phantom Thief, uh, the Dire Wolf, the Betwitching Bell, and uh, the Angel of Slaughter. The Phantom Thief is one of them, huh? Good God. All of them powerful and not a normal one in the lot. Ah, oh, mind you, you're not exactly one to be talking on that score, huh? Oh, speaking of the hopelessly crazy, what about him? Is he still playing hard to get? Hmm. This is going to be so much fun. Out of all, inf uh, all the enforcers, he's the finest undercover operative we have. Well, had. I wonder how long he can evade the sight of the Blade Lord and the Faceless. Hmm. In his heart, he abandoned the society years ago, with, with all that entails. I doubt he'll be able to pose any real threat. Now, I'm not sure I'd say that. Hello, Campanella. Good of you to come all this way. You have my sincere thanks for your excellent work in delaying Cassius Bright. Haha, <laughs> it, it was no trouble. It was a fun bit of work, in fact. Speaking of fun, though, I must say I've taken a look at your plan. It seems like you're preparing to have quite a lot of fun. Well, well, such praise from the fool. I'm flattered. I think you'll find it to be even more enjoyable in practice. Compounding your delight will be the fact that everyone participating in, pursu uh, in pursuing their own individual goals as well. Myself included, of course. Even our fine silver-haired friend here has his own plans in mind. I won't deny it. I'll kindly ask you not to imply anything about my loyalty, however. Now, now, it was simply, it was simply a dress, nothing more. Oh, I see, there's, there's more than meets the eye here, I do so love games. Well, either way, the, your bad taste has special kind of art... Well, either way, your bad taste has a special kind of artistry to it, Professor. As for me, I am going to make sure I enjoy myself. Come now, bad taste, you wound me. Regardless, you're free to watch the plan unfold to your heart's content. You are, after all, a pre representative of the Grand Master. Oh, I intend to! And so, Enforcer number zero, Campanella the Fool, enters the audience. Well, Weissman, I shall enjoy watching the Angius Gospel plan unfold to the very end.
Meanwhile, Erebonian Empire, Southern Regions, 120 Selj from the Liberal, Liberalian border. The blue-haired thieves. If you remember chapter one, I believe, from the first episode. Or chapter. Who do we have here? Black-haired boy. Karen, I'm home. Hey! Joshua, where did you go? Ooh, good! Here you are! Sheesh, don't freak me out like that! Running off on your own! Hmm, why did you follow me? I told you I have personal business here and you did not need to come. Okay, thanks, real cute with the gratitude here. And after I ran out here to look for you. Yeah, plus being all... Plus being all, hey, mind your own business, that's like asking us to follow you. Don't quite get the interest though, nothing but burned out shells and ruins here. Place looks old too. We lived up on the Northern Marsh a few years back, but I never heard anything about a town in the south burning to the ground. Bit of a shock, this. What was this village called, lad? Hmm. Hamel. That's what it was called, once. Hamel, never heard of it. Kyle, you ever heard of it? Doesn't ring any bells, I'm afraid. You got anything done? Mm, hang on about a second. The Imperial government might have said something about a Hamel, but way back when... No, been too long. Can't remember what it was about. Real help, bro. Thanks. My business here is done. I thank you for coming out here, even though it doesn't really concern you. Well, it's no big, but mind if I ask you something? You're acting way differently than we f than the first time we met. You aren't leading us on it. Uh, you you aren't leading us on or anything, are you? That's a little ironic coming from you. As I seem to recall, you were putting on quite the performance when we first met. That what I used to do was not really all that different. What? So what is this? The, the so what is this? The real you or something? The real me. If you want to think of it that way, you can. The point is, I'm hardly a bracer any longer, and I'm certainly not the young junior bracer you remember. Hmm, we are obviously missing some details, but I can respect the fact that you have your own reasons for doing what you do. Besides, you seem a bit easier to trust now, what with, uh, what with being more honest in a way. Not quite like before when you were wearing a sheep's skin. I guess you'd call it. Hmm. Besides, we owe you for saving us from the royal army. We'll let you. Uh, we, we'll let your little insolences slide for now. You hardly need to. Uh, you hardly need to let anything slide. I saved you because I required some. Uh, we require some useful pawns. All I need for you to work and uh, all I need is for you to work enough to pay that debt back. Gah, you really have a thing for getting the last word in, don't you? Well, it doesn't matter to us. Your plan is exactly what we needed anyway. We'll be making plenty of use of you too, Mr. Chessmaster. As you wish. Simply remaining in my company puts you in, great in a great deal of danger. I will support you to the best of my ability through what is to come. The best of... Pheh, ungrateful, unreliable and uncute! And to think, and to think, I thought even for a second. Hmm. Ah, shut up! Just drop it, okay? Josette, calm down. The point is, we're allies until we all achieve our goals. We'll be counting on you, Joshua. 
Yes, as I as am I with you. <clears throat> shall we? Well, shall we le head on? Yes, let's return. To the land being swallowed by the creeping shadow. To liberal. Prologue, a maiden's resolve, and save. And with that, I thank you for watching this episode. And I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until next time, bye-bye.